ओम साई राम टू ऑल माय बाबा लवर्स आउट देयर एंड आई एम सॉरी आई थिंक आई हैड मिस्ड अ वीक एंड इट वाज सो दैट आई हैड लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स कम फ्रॉम ऑल ओवर इंडिया फॉर द क्लासेस एंड ऑल दैट सो आई जस्ट आई डोंट नो हाउ इट्स किप बट इट जस्ट किप माय माइंड सो लेट्स कम बैक टू दिस सो आई हैव बीन यू नो आई वॉज अनवेल इन बिटवीन एंड I was little worried that you know what is happening, and it usually happens whenever there's a major workshop happening, and whatever energy work and all happens, I tend to absorb a lot of energies. So, I was telling Baba, what is happening? One side I see so much of people loving me, standing by me, and one side certain emotions are somewhere still there, which I feel are hurting me, and somewhere the disconnect is happening because of which. I end up absorbing unwanted energies. So then, um, I I I just stood there. I always stand in front of him, and uh, I just speak my heart out to him. And I have this beautiful, beautiful statue from Shirdi, where which is you know where Baba is making food in Handi. So then I was telling him that you know, um, you give you give food to everyone, and then you take care of everyone. You only leave me off it in lurch, and you know you you just keep. uh making me to you know get stuck with things matlab kuch na kuch whatever i was having and i was just going on and on and on and then night baba shows me a vision in the in my in my dreams and then when i get up in the morning i am like you know i have seen this somewhere i have understood you know i have lived this thing somewhere and what was it what was it i was going on recollecting then i remembered that you know couple of years back i was really really not well and i had gone to this baba's temple which is very close to my house in my near my old house basically now it's a little far and there uh, when i had gone i had sat in front of baba and then i had just uh, not baba exactly there's a dwarka mai there also because the, that is one reason why i also named my house as dwarka mai so when i went and i sat there and um, from that the fire i took out little bit of ashes and then i put it in my mouth so that was how you know and that day literally i had a lot of loose motions it was as if you know something which was stuck inside my body was getting released that vision came and then the next day i went to baba's temple and then i i go there i see dwarka mai and you know the moment i entered the pandit over there says uh, do you realize it's been more than 2 years you've come and i was like oh yes and in between uh, during the corona times for one one and a half years the temple was also not open they had closed the temple so then i go inside i sit and uh, they usually bring fire from time to time to put the lakdas inside and you know to check on the fire and and it is it so happened i was standing there that this man comes and then he brings the sticks and uh, he his assistant is not there usually one of his assistant comes he tells me madam can you hold this sticks for me so i hold the sticks and then he opens now after he opens what went through him or what happened to him, he just said uh the way he said i want you to put the sticks inside one by one so there were these 10 sticks and i'm just you know i'm so happy that i was given the chance to put it inside the dwarka mai's fire so i put inside and then uh, he just takes one mutthi of uh, there is a handful of uh, ashes and then he gives me and he says eat it for the next 5 days and then i'm shocked that you know that is what i had come for so i take it and then i keep it in my in my pocket and then i just i i just walk out and uh, then i go and tell his that pandit that you know what happened your assistant uh, the other pandit is not there today he says why i said no uh, the guy who always puts lakdi uh, he was uh, you know alone with the lakdas and all that he said no no we put it off long back and now there is no turn and i am you know i am just wondering what happened there was it my illusion was it you know what was it but in my hand the ashes are there it is quite you know still that warm warmth of the ashes is there then i said okay baba uh message noted point noted you are happy that i came after so many years and you are happy that i could understand and then again the next 2 3 days i had continuous loose motions and i was not well i was not understanding then i felt fine and that is how this man comes and gives me visions or makes me to understand or gives me one on my head and says this is what it is so uh, like that when you feel now the moral of the story what i'm saying you this is whenever you feel there's an up and down just stand next to him surrender to him talk to him and have that faith when you look into his eyes and talks you know i don't know how many of you know this but i've always felt when i look into the eyes of baba and i talk then i get the answers actually 
So look into his eyes and talk and I'm sure he's going to give you the answers. Now let's see what is the answer for me. Okay, the gift. So Baba basically granted my wish also. I wanted to be healthy. So Baba did that. I was healthy. But let's see what is the other card which is coming. See, this is why I always love him. I am always, you are always under his protection. So today Baba is telling you, I am there to give you all the gifts that you desire, all the wishes that you want to manifest. You are under my protection, so you don't have to worry about anything at all. If you have decided to do something, if you feel there is something harming you, just surrender them to me, surrender yourself to me and I will keep you protected. I don't know, I felt like pulling the first card. Persistence. So, again, don't give up on him you remember i said look into his eyes and talk to him and be persistent tell him i don't know what you're doing literally i'm telling you guys i don't know how many of you out there believe this i fight with him i fight we fight like you know i fight like cats and dogs sometimes i feel you know one of us is the dog and one of us is the cat and i just fight like that and sometimes you know i don't even know what i'm fighting what i'm arguing but i get my answers but i'm so persistent i don't know baba you have to do it for me and i don't know how you're doing it for me and sometimes, you know, when he doesn't listen, from morning I would have told him, by afternoon I would have, I will ask him, you know, you have closed your ears with the tsafa that you're tying in your head, please remove them and open your ears and listen to me. And in my home, whoever listens that time, they will be so shocked that what is this lady even doing? Look at the way she's talking to Baba, but I am like that. I cannot help it. He has to listen to me and I always persist in that, you know, you have to give me the solution. But believe me, guys, he, he gives solutions. He loves you when you love him the most. He protects you when you know that he is there to protect you. So do that today. Be persistent. Fight with him. Tell him I only said to fight. It's okay if he scolds me also. But fight with him. And be happy in life. Om Sairam.